Hello Gemini, welcome to a how they feel about you love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or about this connection and what are their true intentions towards you. Um, keep in mind that these readings are general Gemini, so they will not resonate with every Gemini watching. We'll jump right in for Gemini. Let's see what we get for you, Gemini. Spirit, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Gemini regarding the person they are dealing with or thinking about at this time? What do we need to know about Gemini and their current person? What do we need to know for Gemini? Wow, death, Scorpio energy. So there's been some sort of ending or a change, a transition that's taking place. What's going on in this connection between Gemini and this person? Five of Wands reverse. So I'm getting a resolution, conflict, resolving some sort of conflict, overcoming some sort of fight or disagreement. I feel like something happened between you and this person that might have ended things. Um, and perhaps one of you or both of you are thinking about how to resolve this issue. Could be dealing with a Scorpio as well here with the death card. What else do we need to know about the situation between Gemini and this other person? Case of Pentacles. So someone's probably hoping for some sort of opportunity. Um, this is typically tangible uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, something that's being given to you that you can touch and feel. So, you know, it could symbolize a offer of commitment, um, something that lasts, that stands the test of time. The beginning of something solid, right? I feel like this is what someone's hoping for, that there's some sort of solid offer that takes place here or that someone is able to make an offer to this other person. Okay. Can we get some more clarity for Gemini? Spirit, can we get some more clarity for Gemini? I want to um, clarify this death card. I want to know what happened. What's death doing here? What's death about? Can you tell us more about this energy? Okay. Tell us about death. Yeah, so the world. So I feel like there was some sort of ending, but there's still this like desire for a new beginning. It's really strange. Whenever I see like cards like this that are similar in like theme, I, you know, because, okay, what, what do I mean by that? So the world is a card about closing a cycle, closing a chapter, um, ending something in order to begin something else. It's not just a new cycle, right? There, there's, there's a closed circle for a reason, right? Something needs to end so that another one begins, right? So with death and the world, I'm getting something could have already ended. So now what's next? The beginning of something so it's almost like even though something ended at least one of you is thinking about the beginning of that again or the beginning of something despite the ending right tell me more about death four of cups so yeah okay so whoever's thinking this is probably wondering if the other person's in the same page or on the same page, I should say. Would, would they be? In, are they interested in something new again? Are they interested in a new beginning? Are they interested in me? Period. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, clarify by the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So yeah, this is somebody that wants, like, to make an offer that is received. 
in a positive way you know it's almost like when I make this offer I'm hoping that it's a successful offer right okay so this is kind of like what's going on between you I feel like there's you know oh seven of swords at the bottom of the deck with the devil interesting so maybe this is someone sneaking off to make this offer hmm the Ace of Pentacles is not a card. I mean, somebody could be deceptive because they're making an, an offer that's like really good, but there's nothing really standing behind it. But I don't really get that energy, so I'm wondering what that's about. We'll see what comes out when I look at both of your energies. So let's start with you, Gemini. Let's get your energies here. Sorry, tell us about the energies between Gemini and this other person. What do we need to know about the energies between Gemini and the person they're thinking about or connecting with? Tell me about Gemini's energies, please. Ge Gemini, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other, but you can flip the energies if they resonate better for you. Strong bonds, family, union, partnership, Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. So Gemini, you might be feeling very connected to this person. Like there's a bond between you. Tell me about Gemini's person. Tell me about Gemini's person. What do we need to know about their energies? Love letter. A special message is on its way. So they have something to say, message, confession, response, and the bottom of the deck, hidden feelings. Yeah. So this person is, they, they're thinking about telling you how they feel. There could already be a message, you know, coming your way and, you know, throughout this month or something like that, where this person expresses themselves to you. It could even be a confession too. Like maybe they didn't admit their feelings before. Oh. You don't belong there. Okay. So let's get some more insight. Oops. What happened? All right. Spirit, can we get some more insight into the energies between Gemini and this other person? Can you get some more insight into Gemini's energy? What can you tell us about Gemini's energy? Octopus. So this is like a card about like entanglements, attachments. So there is definitely some sort of bond or attachment that you have to this person. And I feel like this is whether you want it to be that way or not. The, the attachment is still there. This could be a, a karmic partner. This could be a soulmate. This could be somebody that you've had past lives with. Oops, I don't know what's going on with this deck. Okay, tell me about Gemini's person. What about Gemini's person? What's their energy? Tell me about Gemini's person. The raccoon, yeah, this person is hiding them. The, they're hiding their true selves from you is kind of the message I'm getting. Um, I, I'm not getting anything shifty, you know, it's, I don't feel like this is someone that's hiding themselves from you because they're deceiving you. I feel like they're hiding their feelings from you for a different reason. I don't know what that reason is, but I think, you know, I, I, I don't feel like this person is trying to like pull the wool over your eyes or like purposefully deceive you like that's not what I'm getting with this energy it's almost like this is somebody that cannot tell you something or be real with you for whatever reason excuse me it's fascinating so let's look at the tarot spirit can you tell us what else do we need to know regarding Gemini and this other person. What do we need to know about Gemini and their person? Tell me about Gemini. 
What are Gemini's thoughts, feelings, energies when it comes to this person or this connection? What do we need to know about what Gemini is thinking, feeling? Okay. Ten of Swords reverse. Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands reverse. Bottom of the deck was the Magician reverse. So you did not get what you wanted with this person. I also feel like you struggled to give this person up. Whatever happened, you have not been able to truly let it go. This could be energetically that you might be um, still holding on to whatever happened, or it just could be that, um, you know, you still desire things, or, or, or your desire is that things are different than what they are now, you know? I feel like you were maybe trying to manifest something and it's like the opposite happened or or it just didn't happen, period. Now, the Eight of Wands is almost like maybe you're expecting to hear from this person or for there to be some sort of progression or movement here. I'm going to have to clarify. But I think with the Ten of Swords reverse, it's like you want to overcome this ending. Maybe you just want to... And this could be for many reasons, Gemini. Some of you could want to overcome this ending so you can move on with your life. It doesn't even have anything to do with this person. You might just want to just not feel the way that you feel. And others of you, you might want to overcome this ending so that you can begin again. So that it could be a different outcome this time. Uh, Seven of Wands reverse. I feel like you no longer want to fight this, right? You, you probably no longer want to feel resistant to whatever you're feeling maybe at first you were trying to block the way that you were feeling or ignore your feelings for someone or your feelings over what happened and i don't think you have it in you to keep doing that let's see what we get spirit help me clarify these energies please we get some insight for Gemini. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse. And I think part of the, there's frustration. I'm feeling frustration. Um, you're frustrated with either the way things are right now or with the fact that you still feel the way you feel. Ace of Cups, interesting. Yeah, there's something here with feelings. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? Knight of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? Knight of Pentacles and then the, and the higher font. So I get the sense that, yeah, there's the world. I, I was gonna say, I get the sense that, the sense that you want something with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, you want something. There's something that you desire here. It could be an offer from this particular person, or it could be that you want to make an offer to someone that you're thinking about. Um, maybe you want commitment. Maybe eventually you want to be married or stable. Um, you want something here. And I feel like you want a new beginning. But I'm, I'm still not sure if you want a new beginning with this particular person or just in general. Like I could see it both ways. Let me know in the comments, you know, um, if you're resonating with this reading. Are you looking for something new in love with this particular person? Or do you kind of just want to be free to love again? Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? What's this about? Again, movement. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. King of Swords. Okay, so this is communication. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Wands. Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. <sighs> What's behind this? Temperance, of course. I don't know why I even bother looking when it comes <laughs> during these Gemini readings, why I'm curious about what's going on, because I feel like Gemini's is always the same message at the end of the day. But here, what I'm picking up on is um, 
I feel like you want to talk. It's, it's like maybe there hasn't been closure. You might want to talk about what happened with the Five of Swords, King of Swords. Um, hmm. You might be in the middle of a partnership. I mean, this is very interesting how these cards came out. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Typically for me, these two tend to be married in a long-term commitment. So the fact that there's a nine of pentacles in between them, it's almost like you might be in the middle of a partnership or perhaps once again, this symbolizes freedom, independence, the nine of pen uh, pentacles. So you might just want to be free of all of this. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what this is about. Tell me about the five of swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? The High Priestess. Secrets? Yeah, the moon wanted to come out. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like um, maybe you just want clarity. Maybe there's something secret happening here and you want to just have it all out in the open. Just discuss it. Yeah, there's the world again. Interesting. It's a lot of different energies here. It's almost like you want a lot of things. But I feel like the main thing is that whatever happened between you and this person, there is probably was unfair to you or felt unfair. Um, maybe there's difficulty here, the Five of Pentacles, in terms of feeling abandoned, left behind, feeling outside, cold. Um... You're missing something here with the Five of Pentacles. I feel like there's secrets here, something that's hidden, some sort of hidden knowledge um, that I feel you just want to get to the bottom of. You just want, it's almost like you just want to know for sure something. And that way you would be able to figure out where you stand. Is this over? Is this going to happen? What's going to happen? Et cetera, et cetera. What does the future hold? Okay, so let's look at this person. I'm actually going to clear the board because we're going to look at your person a little bit closer here. Tell me about Gemini's person. What do we need to know about Gemini's person? What are their energies, thoughts, feelings when it comes to Gemini? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies when it comes to Gemini? Wow, the Emperor, Aries energy. Somebody that wants to take charge. Three of Cups, energies, thoughts, feelings towards Gemini or this connection. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles reverse. This person could very well be in, already in a long-term commitment, Gemini. Um, if they are in a long-term commitment, it's not doing well. There's the lack of stability. And I mentioned that because I have the Three of Cups here. Um, and the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Which the Seven of Pentacles reverse, that to me translates typically to bad investment. Um, something's not growing or panning out because someone planted the wrong seeds or they planted seeds in the wrong place etc etc that card can also be a card about impatience so we'll see what that's about um if you're not dealing with someone that's in a long-term commitment then this person cannot offer you stability which is kind of weird because the emperor is like they usually don't have problems with stability they're usually um very particular about structure, authority, and order. Uh, they don't like things to be messy. They don't like things to be kind of wishy-washy. That's not the emperor. So that's kind of strange. Can we get some clarity about this person? The emperor is usually the fixer. Um, they take charge, take control. Why is the Emperor here? Yeah. 
Eight of Pentacles. This person is working on something, but I wonder, does it have something to do with you or something in their own life? Ten of Cups. Maybe they're working on having their happy ending here. Tell me about the Ember. Oh, Queen of Pentacles again. See? When I see these kind of cards together, because this the Ten of Cups, there's a family in that card. And we could see it's a family there, two parents and two children. So when I see the Queen of Pentacles next to that, you already know what I'm thinking. There could be children involved. This could be like a marriage, something like that. But why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What's this Eight of Pentacles about? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups. See, these are two queens here. Why is the Eight of Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this Queen of Cups is someone from the past, and this Queen of Pentacles could be somebody from the present. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Three of Cups, and then there's the Hierophant again. So I feel like a lot of you are dealing with someone who they are invested somewhere else. They could be married, they could be in a long-term commitment, they could have responsibilities, etc., etc., somewhere else. Why is the Three of Cups here? That's why the Raccoon is here. That's why they cannot be open with you. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Strength, Leo energy. Why is the Three of Cups here? The Tower. There's the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, uh, you know, I'm seeing here someone that needs to have courage or strength to either cause a tower or deal with a tower that's happening. And I feel like this tower involves three people. Or perhaps it involves coming together. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> ah. The moon comes out again, Pisces energy. Two of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this is an exchange. Something, this person invested in the wrong place and it didn't work out for them. They thought something was going to work out and it didn't work out. And I feel like now they're thinking about a different opportunity. But I think they're doing this in secret. What's behind here at the bottom of the deck? Nine of Swords. Okay. And Judgment. So there could be a lot of anxiety about a judgment call they have to make or um, stress regarding their situation. They have to make a choice about the fact that they're somewhere where the investment is not working out, right? So this emperor is probably thinking, you know, I have to make a choice. Either I decide to keep things as they are and I just accept that this is my reality or I make a choice, a different choice to have something new. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yikes. I feel like this offer would um, be unfair to somebody. Or at least look that way. Yeah. I think that's why this person is holding back. It's due to fear or feelings of being stuck. Because if they were to make this offer somewhere else or have a new opportunity on for themselves, they're going to look bad. Tell me about the moon. They might be judged. Tell me about the moon. <laughs> Temperance again. Sagittarius energy. So this person has doubts, confusion, fears. There's secrets or illusions. And I feel it's because they're wondering about either the timing of something or whether there will be harmony. Because Temperance is a card all about someone that's trying to blend two very different things together. And that takes time. You know, in order for them to be harmonious and blend well, they're taking their time, they're being balanced, they're moderating everything. That's what temperance is about. 
So with the moon, it's almost like someone's wondering if this could ever be balanced out. Um, could there be harmony or resolution, something that actually works out here?